Hi again, this is Jeff. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick update on the uh, hydroponic garden project that I have. And uh, it's alive. So we've basically, uh, uh, we, me, I got a chance to uh, go through and get the last of the pipe uh, fittings on, got the last, last of the leaks kind of uh, shored up, and uh, got some plants in it. So we've had some uh, pretty cold evenings lately and I've been able to cover it. Uh, but uh, we're uh, moving forward. Let me see if I can't show you some of the new residents. So here is, are the uh, two cherry tomato plants that I put in uh, about uh, four, four nights ago? Well, three nights ago. But uh, they've had two full solid days out here. Uh, parked up. They leaned over just a little bit after the first night. But they uh, seem to be doing pretty well. Uh, added some juvenile uh, romaine lettuce uh, to the uh, to this particular bed, and they uh, just added them last night. Uh, it's probably in the mid 40s this morning, but they seem to not even uh, have felt the shock at all. Uh, a couple bell pepper plants. My uh, green bell peppers, but uh, once again, uh, put them in last night, uh, last evening, and seem to be uh, seem to be doing uh, pretty well. No shock or other observances. Uh, up here in the top, I've got some just straight head lettuce, um, and then some kale. Uh, just trying some different varieties to see what what would actually uh, help. But the one set of residents that I really wanted to show you is right there. Uh, that's just one of the seed pods that I have. Uh, you can actually see there's another one over here. But these are cherry tomato plants uh, from, from seed. And they are starting to rise. So we got life. Um, all three beds. You can see where I've expanded and actually placed a valve on each one so I can control each bed. Uh, fairly uh, small addition to the design, which and necessary, uh, just to kind of allow them all to have the same. You can see that they are all uh, draining from the lower, lower hole. Uh, they will drain from the the upper hole on occasion, but that's about where the water level stays, is right at the base of that upper hole. And then when it drains, it drops probably about an inch and a half. Um, and I think we were, during one of my earlier videos, I said I was giving it a 15 minute rest. It's actually a 45 minute on, 45 minute off cycle. Uh, but they seem to like it. So, uh, the bell siphons that I put in my other video right here. Um, so far, so good. You like the project? Uh, subscribe below and keep following me. It'll be going on as I continue progress. Thanks.